hi lovelies how are you all doing <laughs> today has been just a lounging day for me to be honest i've been walking back to back and i'm really very tired and i've just had i had my shower in the morning because whenever i shower in the morning it just helps me give me kind of strength all through the day today i'm not really doing anything like i just want to relax i'm just chilling today i've seen a movie today already and um it's a movie by odolade it's a nigerian movie i don't know why people give bad reviews about movies like the movie is not as bad as people painted it i don't know in my own opinion shall because i feel like any creative process is worth celebrating like it's not easy to come up with a story not so called filming it and getting it out like there so i always appreciate any creative process it might not be like yeah the way we want it to be but at least they are trying they're trying let's always give it to them it's not easy creating the creative space is not easy at all even this small youtube that i'm doing this small youtube content creation that i'm doing i know how much brainstorming you know thinking and everything goes into it editing the time hours i spend and that's another thing please like this video because it's not easy to create content it's not easy it's not easy <laughs> so yeah i don't condemn any creative process because i know it's not easy to create anything at all be it movie song um even this youtube creation content creation in general and those things people say like oh what are you doing then they didn't do well you go and do your own and see how it is my husband is awake and i just thought let me take a break and talk to you guys so quickly i want to share with you a very important brand to me the name of this brand is new reserve so this is how the package came actually this is how the package came and i've not unboxed it because i want to show you all and also share with you what the brand represents nail reserve is a gel polish brand based in los angeles and they specialize in creating high quality vegan and cruelty free nail products their products allows every individual to express their own style and embrace their unique beauty their collection includes not just a variety of gorgeous gel polish shades but also builder gels poly gel and a luxurious coconut cortical oil every of their product is crafted with meticulous attention to quality and aesthetic making it perfect for creating any look whether you're going for a subtle elegance or a bold statement isn't that just brilliant so i've been on a little diy journey lately and i'm really starting to embrace this era of diy because of this i requested for the beginner's kit which includes a lamp a base coat top coat and two colors for my colors of choice i picked out the sea swing and song which is a perfect nude shape for my type of job and can be my everyday nails and then i picked out the tiffany red which is also perfect for any day i am not working so i just went on to clean my nails and i filed it to my desired size and then i went on with the base coat first see that nail protector that i put there it was the worst mistake ever i should have just trusted myself that i would be able to do this neatly after applying the base coat i cured it under the uv light for about 30 to 60 seconds after which i applied my color of choice which is the sea swing and song the consistency is so thick thicker than i expected so i had to go in very lightly to ensure that i get a perfect nail and then afterwards i curled it under the uv light the uv light is very small and portable but it does the job very well i was able to fit my five fingers at once under it by tilting it but if you have large fingers you might want to do like four fingers at a time and then get the thumb done together so i applied my color of choice again and then cured it before i now applied the top coat the top coat gave the nails a very glossy finish which i really love i just repeated the same process for my second hand but this time i did not put that nail protector thing after that i also moisturized my nails and then applied my cortical oil on it 
If you are diving into DIY nails like me or just love quality nail products, Nail Reserve is definitely worth checking out. You will be getting 50% discount using the link in my description below. So get on the Nail Reserve boat. Let us all stay together. <laughs> After doing my nails, I went on to doing my lashes. So this is second time I will be applying cluster lashes. I didn't actually film it because I'm just learning it and I need to focus to make sure I'm doing the right thing. But maybe someday soon when I get it right, I'll probably show you all very soon. Trust me. <laughs> Getting an appointment to do nails and lashes and um, brows is so much tedious and I just like that I'm able to do this and see this is the result. This is what it is looking like and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Yeah, so later I got dressed and it was time to go for my grocery shopping and um, also I wanted to make native rice that evening so I needed to go for my shopping and do my native rice cooking. So let's go to Aldi as usual. Yay! <laughs> A quick rundown on how I make my native rice. So I like to boil my rice in onions, some thyme leaves and add salt to it and then allow it to steam in hot water for about 15 minutes or till the rice becomes very tender. Not too tender, not soggy but just tender. Yeah. While the rice is boiling, I went on to roughly blend my pepper mix, which consists of red chili peppers, green chilies, and some scot bonnets with onions. <laughs> For this recipe I am using palm oil and then I pour my palm oil into my pan, allow that to heat up for a while and then I went in with my onion, I allow the onion to fry so that it can you know, release its flavor into the oil 
and then I added my locust beans. Locust beans is a very good source of probiotics anytime, any day. After adding all of that, I added my pepper and then all my proteins. I quickly checked on my rice and it was tender enough. I wanted to sieve it out, that's why I added more water because I like to sieve out my rice. And then I added my seasoning to my pepper mix, which was uh, some salt and no cubes so after this was done i like to do a bit of stir frying so for my stir frying i'm just adding my oil the remaining palm oil and some onion and then i took out like half of it and then i started mixing my rice and my my parboiled rice and my pepper mix together to give that you know i just like the way it comes out when i do it this way you can add the, everything together without doing this but this is just how i like to do mine and i like the taste of it anytime i do it this way for my veggies i had a sprinkle of vegetable in this case i used the rocket wild rocket vegetable it has this peppery taste it's usually used for salad but now i use it for my garnishing <laughs> when everything was ready i transferred it back into my main pot just gave it a last you know stir and my rice was ready and then my chicken also was ready by the time i finished it was really looking good and tasted really good funniest part is i couldn't even eat anything when i finished i just packed the one i was taking to work the next day and i cleaned my kitchen and that was it for the night thank you so much for watching my vlog please don't forget to like thank you so much till i see you next time bye bye